Hello, uh, this is a message for all of our current landlords. Um, I'm really pleased to be able to make this video today. But I've been waiting to do it for a long time, um, months. Um, there's a lot of things that have gone on in the last 12 months, maybe some more, and it just has never, you know, when are we gonna be able to tell people this? When are we able to, gonna tell people this? We're calling this our post-COVID fresh start. And, um, you know, for the last two months, and this is why we can say this now, uh, we've had a uh, clearing the decks um, process in the business. You know, everybody's been involved with it. So I just wanted to run through what we've been doing, how how we've been doing it, give you all the updates we'd hope to be uh, able to be give, give for the last you know, couple of months. There's quite a lot that's changed. This could very well have just been an email. Depending how you, you might just be subscribed to watching this, or you'll be sending it, uh, we'll send it out on a video with a link and you'll, you'll see it. Um, it could have just been an email. We just felt like it needed, there was, there was so much more. By the time we'd written it all down and, and said, you know, we need to get this across to our landlords, how, what's the most effective way to do it, putting this video together and then reiterating it in a series of, I think there's about three different emails coming out. They're really important, they affect you. Uh, we've got some big news. It's not, um, it's not just, you know, little bits here and there. If there's one video, I know not everybody can watch every video we do, but if there's one video to watch and, and one message to take on, and it's this stuff, because we've all been through a lot in the last year, and this is the bit where we, we pull it all together. So like I say, uh, we're calling this our fresh start. Uh, from September to October, we've been clearing the decks. And I just wanted to outline what COVID meant uh, for us, therefore for you, how it impacted your business, um, what we've done throughout the period, what clearing the decks meant for us, and then what you can expect going forward. Um, so we had a reset, if you like, um, that clearing the decks moment. Just to let you know, for a period of time, we were swamped. You know, there's no, no two ways about it. Um, COVID, you can see in all sorts of things that's, that's coming through now, cause, causes and caused lows and then highs. So things like um, you know, no inspections, uh, no viewings at some point, you know no maintenance and then of course they all come back on and you've got loads of inspection to catch up on loads of viewings to do and loads of maintenance to catch up on as well so um for a long time we've been swamped hence the clearing the decks we we, we looked at it two months ago three months ago right enough's enough we've just got to power through it we've got to make sure that all of the things that um, you know we couldn't do and now i've got to do them all and get caught up like the inspections like the um the the, the voids you know there was too many properties empty at one point there was over 140 and every month we'd rent 40 50 60 properties i think we, we hit 70 properties one month but then it was back again it was your lot by the way obviously you know numbers are throwing them around all over the place that, that's a not a lot in, in, a, in a normal month we'll, we'll hope to, for it to be sort of 30 or 40 and all of them just to be you know quick and easy and night you know plenty of notice not just bang they're all there and they've been there for too long which is what covid caused so clearing the decks meant getting rid of that and getting back to a normal rhythm you will now expect you know inspection never to get behind um never to be too long voids you know when a, when a tenant gives notice we'll start marketing it we've got a one two three four week club as you know, you'll know about we never wanted to get into the three or four week club those kind of things um going forward increasing rent levels you know we haven't done that for quite a little while now it was all a little bit uncertain when you've got a small percentage but it's nevertheless a significant percentage of people calling and you know not 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 able perhaps to pay their rent or concerned about not being able to pay the rent actually in the end you know, it didn't come to fruition it's not the right time to start putting rents up but rents have been going up on relets rents have been going up now is a time to go back and and look at uh, rents as well so that's point number one you know we we I've got a couple of things to tell you. Point number one, that's the worst one there. Um, you know, the, 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 the pressures. We've cleared the decks, it's now a fresh start, okay? Uh, number two, you know, the stuff that happened behind, behind closed doors. Um, we bought a business, we welcomed 200 more um, landlords. Um, we might not have met some of you yet. We, we opened four new offices, we did it all behind closed doors. Our people were working from home, people who joined us, brand new people, were working from home from day one and straight into the action, you know. We never got to say hi properly to all sorts of people. I, I met some of our team in real life for the first time only a couple of weeks ago. You know, I've seen them on screens for, for months, but uh, that's a bit of a strange thing. And and for sure, um, um, you know, some of you guys might not know what we do and how we do it, and we might not have said hi properly. So we apologise for that. And, and part of this 
fresh start is we're, we're opening our doors, you know. Um, phone and email was definitely a problem because of all that. Um, you know, new people starting, new offices, all behind closed doors. We identified that some of our landlords didn't know um, who to call or how to call, you know, the right numbers. We've fixed that. So just to let you know, we've got a new 24-7, 365 day uh, a, a week, um, a year, sorry, uh, phone system. It's got new numbers. Uh, we've got five new uh, team members. Got one uh, old team member back after having a baby. Well, welcome back, Paige. Um, and we've changed the departments around as well. So to simplify things, we've got now three departments and everybody's going to have a dedicated contact for each one of those departments. There'll be a separate email going out to you guys after this video, after this, this first email saying you're in one of the watch systems. The idea here is that um, as we grow, we're going to get more and more people. And it's really nice. You know, we, we have somebody on the end of the phone saying, you know, I don't know who to call. There's one of 14 people I've spoken to. In some ways, that's good, isn't it? You know, we've got breadth, depth and breadth of the team. But, you know, ideally, it's not good if you're going to, you don't know quite who to speak to out of one of the 14 people. Any one of them would do, actually. They're all qualified to do the thing, but you don't want to have to hunt around. So we've, we're going to give you, there's, there's three departments, rent a relationship, property management and accounts, you know, you know looking after the, 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 uh, the, the, the paperwork, looking after the property and looking after the money. Think of it that way. Three different things. Each one of our landlords is going to be given one person in each one of those departments. You know, if there's 10 people in that department, you only need to speak to one. Of course, you know, holidays and bits and bobs, you know, every now and again, you'll get to the wrong, a different person just because somebody's on holiday or away or ill or whatever. But generally speaking, you'll have one person to speak to, which I think is going to make things a lot, lot easier. Um, yeah, for me, I use our system. I only call one person now. It's, it's, it's working really well. We've already started doing a little trial system in there. Um, and it means that, you know, there's that continuity of service. We also created a fourth department. We call it Landlord Happiness, and it's a big push, and you hear a lot about it from us in the next, um, well, in the next couple of, couple of weeks and months, but forever. You know, we're really serious about making our landlords happy, and uh, it started from me. You know, I, I want to be happy. I'm, I'm, I'm the biggest customer for the landlords.com, so I want to make sure that um, I am looked after as as well as as I possibly can be, and, and and I'm determined to keep going through that process and keep saying, yeah, we 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 said we asked you guys, we had a brainstorming it, and we've talked about it for months and, and getting on for years. What makes a landlord happy? They want more money, they want less hassle, and they want all their time back. Those three things. So we're going to keep focusing on those. I'm going to keep focusing on them as a landlord pushing for the landlords to do it, the, the business. I'm going to focus on it as the business owner and you're going to reap the benefits because the team are laser focused on fixing those things. Uh, the fourth department, the landlord happiness department, you'll get a dedicated contact there. Karen's heading that up. Um, Karen will be in touch. It'll be Karen, Karen who's emailing you the watch system. So your three dedicated people and your dedicated client happiness officer. You now have one. So yeah, if you have a dedicated accounts query, you know, did somebody pay the rent or whatever, of course, speak to your dedicated accounts person. But if for anything else, if you want to catch up, whatever it is, you've got a dedicated happiness officer. To show you how seriously we're taking this, uh, we will be sending you, and this is something to sort of pin your ears back, one email every month, not a lot of long one at all, it asks you one simple question. Uh, the question is actually, is, is a net promoter score survey, so how likely would you on a scale of, I think it's one to ten, uh, to recommend us? And you click, that shows us whether you're happy or not. Uh, in that email, there's also a comment card, so you can leave, you don't have to, but you can leave a comment. And you can also book a, uh, a business review with Karen at any time, there's an invitation to that. So those three things on one email, every single month going out and I want to see those numbers going up. I want to see landlords getting happier and happier and happier over time. Um, so that just shows you how serious we are about that hopefully and we're going to start publishing those results as well. Give us a month to collate them all. The first one will go out at the end of this month but you will get that email. It's a simple, we made it as simple and frictionless as possible. It will be displayed in your on your iPhone or on your computer desktop whatever. You just click the number, that's it done. If you want to leave a comment, you can leave a comment. If you want to book a service, you can do those things. Book a book a review. But other than that, it's um, it is, it's uh, very very easy to do. You don't have to. So that's the update. Uh, expect some more emails to come through. Uh, we uh, cleared the decks. We've now got a fresh start for you. We're giving you, and we're going to publish in a separate email going out to you now. 
all of the contact, all the people in our business, who they are to you, your dedicated contact, and then we're gonna keep following up every single month saying, how are we doing? And it's your chance to have a comment in there as well. So hopefully that made it clear. And we're serious about making you as our landlord happy. Good to talk to you today. Hopefully I'll see some of you uh, in the office in real life in the, in the coming weeks and months too. Bye for now.